Now, since we have gone through the basic fundamentals of WPF and XAML and we did install Visual Studio, let's get started with a very basic application of WPF and see how it is looking like and how to start with the basic operations of it. So here, once I install the Visual Studio, what will I do for starting with the WPF application? I will come in the menu bar to the file, new, project. And in the project, you will find a number of language templates out here. And in each particular language, you will find the number of supported applications. So here, I'm going to use Visual C Sharp and inside the windows you will find the WPF application. So this is the location where your WPF application will be created. So let's give it a name like WPF demo. So let's say OK. And now it is started creating. And once it is done you will see this type of window in your screen. So basically this is the window section where you will do the drag and drop all the controls will be here in the toolbox and this is the designing area where the XAML is taking place alright. So here in the XAML what it is doing first of all it is giving you a windows tag window tag inside which you can set the title the height the width and all and now in, inside that you will have to put some container control which will contain the other controls like buttons, labels, checkbox or some other. So by default out of those container controls we have the grid but using the toolbox you can find some of the more controls like here you can see there is a grid along with that you can find stack panel tab control so we have a number of tools in the list out here. Now, what I'll do, I'll come to toolbox and I will just drag a button out here in the center. You can drag it to any particular size and you can drop it like any particular location where you want to keep this button. And here you can see this is being generated here like the example for this particular button is here. If I will do any changes in the content like I'll say click here. So you can see all the changes are reflected here. But if you want to get the same GUI feeling for changing any property of that button, again, you have the properties window out here where you can simply change the content. If you want to make it a default button, if you want to put a tooltip, you can do all the changes regarding the appearances, regarding the uh, decoration of this button or any transformation if you want to take place. So everything will be visible here. We will start doing that once we will start putting uh, making some changes by working in the controls. So if I want to perform any action when I click this button I'll simply click double click out here in this button here and that will generate the event handler. So button click and then object center alright. So now when I will come back, let's, I just forgot to mention one thing, like if I'll come here, here you can put any particular name for this button, like if I'll say it is button 1, so now this is a button 1, that's the name, alright, and then again the handler is generated. Alright, so whenever you will click that button 1, this will, this method will be invoked. Now I renamed that button to button 1 so if you want you can make it button 1 and you can make a change out here like where the event handler is being placed like when you will click it will call button 1 underscore click. Now what I'll do I'll just add one more label here from the toolbox label I'll put label 1 and content I'll make it blank. Alright, so initially I don't want any content out there. Now, here what I'll do, label one dot content is equal to, this is a sample WPF window.
All right. So like any typical .NET application, I will press F5 to execute it or I'll click this start button. So once I'll do that, it will start building the application means all the compilation of the files will take place. And if everything will go good, it will start executing. As here, now you can see I have the output screen. When I will click this button, I will get the text out here. This is a sample WPF window. Alright, so this is how you can start creating a sample WPF application. So this is all about the beginning. In our coming videos, definitely we are going to learn a lot of new things to implement in WPF application.